everyone, welcome to Jada. In this episode, I'll show you how to make natural wedding agent which can be used as insecticide for agriculture. I've invented this technology without using external heating equipment and it is called Jadam wedding agent. The main ingredient I'll be using today is the 3.6 liters of canola oil and you can also use various vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil simply because it is cheapest oil available in South Korea. And the next ingredient is 640 grams of 90% pure potassium hydroxide. When making Jadam wedding agent, soft water must be used. The best soft water you can get is the clean rainwater after 30 minutes of raining. Also, there are a lot of soft water below the ground as well. And it is not just limited to those two. You can also use the water from the air condition, dehumidifier, and distilled water. It is mandatory to use soft water for making Jadam wedding agent. Also for the water that you are going to use for the pest solution. The best way to identify the quality of water is using small portion of Jadam wetting agent. The soft water shows very clean and transparent. Alternative way to identify soft water is by using natural detergent sold in the market when you don't have a Jadam wetting agent. First, I will weigh 500 grams of soft water for initial process. And second, I'm adding 640 grams of potassium hydroxide. And next, I'm adding 500 grams of soft water on top of potassium hydroxide. Now you may see the boiling due to chemical reaction with water. Close the lead and stir the bucket to melt the potassium hydroxide. Once you are done with this, open the lid to add 3.6 liters of canola oil. From now, I will start blending the oil. Before doing this, make sure your blender is clean. Once I start, you will be able to see the changes in color. I blended about 5 minutes and as you can see the oil has turned into like a thin mayonnaise. This is the completion of first initial process. It has been 20 minutes after aging. As you can see the solution is getting hardened. Right now the temperature goes more than 80 Celsius degree. The temperature will gradually increase then decrease over time while aging the solution for 3 days. During this aging process, the solution inside will turn into like a block of butter. If the initial process was not done well, you will be able to see the separate layer. But here, I don't see any separation, so that means we're good to go. So I've waited for 3 days. I usually recommend aging for 3 days, but during emergency, you can also wait just 24 hours. Let's see how it looks like inside. When you touch it, it feels like a softened butter or soap that has been inside of water for an hour. However, if your solution is a bit watery or more softer even after aging it for 3 days, that means the initial process is not done well. So to solve those issues, you will have to blend it once more. And in the next step, I will add a total of 16 liters of water. But at first, I'll just add 4 liters to cleave the solution so that it will be easier to melt it down. Once you are done pouring water, split the solution to make small particles at first. Then use the hand blender to accelerate the process. Since I have added 4 liters, now I will wait 12 liters of water to add. Next step is very easy. Just stir the solution occasionally once in an hour. Then later, you will be able to see it has melted within 24 hours or more. 
You can also use electric drill to accelerate the process, but use the low RPM to avoid overflowing. It has been one hour. I'll steer a little more. I've steered a total of five times with one hour intervals. It is almost melted, but you have to check if there is any solution left on the corner of the bucket. In the early stage in this video, we have used small hand blender, but at this point, it is short to proceed the blending. So I recommend using a long one, like this drill. It is almost complete, now I'll set it for a while. It is now all perfectly melted within 22 hours after aging. I've stirred about 5 to 6 times with 1 hour interval total. I am now going to store this in the bottle. In the previous video, I have stored the jadam sulfur in a separate bottle, but for this one, it is not so necessary. You can just store it in a bucket with the lead for use. It's all completed, so total ingredient I used was the 3.6 liters of canola oil, 16.5 liters of water, and 640 grams to obtain 20 liters of jadam wedding agent. And total time consumed is approximately 4 days, 3 days for the aging and 1 day for the melting procedure. This is the one that I made one month ago. The more you age the solution, it will get clearer and get a bit darker. And there is no shelf life of Jadon Wedding Agent. More attractive part of this is that it can be your laundry soap, dish soap, and shampoo. As I am introducing you the Jadon Wedding Agent as an agricultural input, but this is 100% decomposable natural detergent. By making Jadon Wedding Agent, you are not just getting an agricultural input, but also your daily life material. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.